Okay, let's go to the next step. Now, once you have the club grip, you have to go to the ball and say, okay, now I've got to, I have to address it. And before we address it, we do what? You have to determine your line, your target line. Now, how do we do that? Now, how many of you look at the target and try to set yourselves up so that you're on target with your shoulders or with your feet, whatever? One, just one, two, okay. Now that means if you were firing a rifle, okay, you would aim your shoulders and fire. Is that right? No. no? Pardon? I'd face the target more. With, with, with the rifle? Okay, so you would face the target more and fire. Would you do that? No. Point the rifle. The Wouldn't you point the rifle? You would. Would you try to aim your body? Then why would you try to aim your body in golf? Because now it's G-O-L-F. You've got to lose your common sense. <laughs> you see? We go right back to that again. You see? Now, what takes the place of your, of your barrel? The club face. So that's what you aim with. That's what's going to send the ball to your target, isn't it? You aim the club face. All right, so you put the club face at right angles to your target line. Now I'm gonna tell you something that is extremely important and I don't want you to ever forget it. I don't care where you take your line, whether you go from back here or whether you take it from here. But when you go to that ball, you must not look at the ball. You look at your target. When I'm here and I'm going to, the, to that ball, the first thing I want to do, keep my eye on that target as I'm walking. Now, you will know how far to go because you can see the ball out of the corner of your eye. And when you get over here, so you keep looking at the target and you put the club on there and you'll be right. Okay? But what would happen now if I go from here and I say, oh, there's my line. And now I look at the ball. Where's my line going? It's out the window. Out the window. And you'd be amazed how people who say, I can't line up. If you keep their eye over there as they're walking to the ball, their improvement is, is, is unbelievable, okay? The same thing happens from here. If I look at my target, and then I say, oh, there's my target, and now I look at the ball without looking at the target, I will lose my line. Always look at your target. If you're gonna throw a ball to somebody, what's the first thing that you do? You look to see where he is. See, that's common sense. But now when you get over here, now you don't worry about that, but you worry about the ball. <laughs> See? You always move in lining up with your eye on where you want to go. Never at what you're trying to send. Okay? And like, again, just to repeat it, it doesn't matter whether you're over there or over here. Now suppose that you're the type of person who has an intermediate target. Does anybody, everybody know what an intermediate target is? In front, yes, okay. All right, now if I'm trying to line it to that, what does the interme intermediate target do in relation to that line over, that point over there? It takes its place, doesn't it? So now when I'm going to line it up, I don't look at the ball, I don't look at my real target, I look at what? Intermediate. The intermediate target, see I keep looking over there. See? Okay, you'd be amazed, and you, you do it sometimes among yourselves. So you go up there and just look at the target and and put it down, and then don't look at the target, look at the ball, and then check it, and I'll bet you you'll find yourself really different. Yes? And now, if you're playing a draw or a fade, are you looking at your target or your you're, Yes, you're always looking at your target, but your target is not where you want the ball to end if you're trying to draw. The, the target is always the direction which you want the ball to do what? Start. That's your target line, you see. So when you're drawing the ball, and I will show you later this afternoon or, or tomorrow how to do that, uh, when you're trying to draw the ball, you want the ball to go to the right of the, tar the intended target end and then come into it. So your target line is now over here. So you look there, or you look at the point down here, whichever. Because that's where you're going to swing the club to, and that's where the ball's going to start. Are you saying that you're going to show me how to draw a ball? To sure. <laughs> you can do it right cool. now. You can do it right, you can do it right now, sir. You can do it right now. It's that easy. As between using the intermediate target and 
target farther away. Do yes. you have any recommendations either one? See, if you Right. If you have lost your right angle perception, it's the only way to line it up. If you have not lost the, the right angle perception, then it's okay. You know what I mean by right angle? I understand what you're saying, but I don't know what a right angle perception is. Right angle perception is to when you can tell that this is a right angle to your target when the target is 180 yards away. It's hard sometimes to see, to see that between the club face and that long target out there, where it's much easier to see if I'm going to go to that little flower right there, see, it, it's much easier for me to see that I'm lined up, whereas if I'm trying to go over there, I might not. That's the right angle perception that I'm talking about. So if you've lost it, if I lose it, because, you know, we all lose it from time to time. There's no sense fretting about the fact that I can't line up, just take an intermediate target, which is close enough. By the way, don't take it this close. Give yourself about three feet. Two and a half to three feet. Don't get it too close. Yes. When you line up your club face perpendicular to the target, uh, this may sound like it's stupid question, but since the club face is lofted and there's two different angles and three different angles, what part of the club face? The, the sole line, always the sole line. Okay. Or the lines of the grooves, either one. The, the scoring lines, either one you want, but never the top line. If you aim it with the top line, you will close the blade. Okay? Any other questions about alignment? Okay, what's the next step? Well, you've got the line right now and your club face is on the line, now what's left? Yeah, one sure. I'm sorry about alignment. No problem. Why, maybe it isn't, why is it that all right-handed golfers line up right or have that tendency? If you, you know, when, I, when I'm not playing well, it's, or when I play badly, it's because I'm lining up right and I'm not doing that intermediate target. I get lazy and all, and, all, and for some reason, I invariably am lining up way right. Is there an explanation? I can't answer that because I've seen it both ways. I've seen, I have a very good player yesterday who went to the finals in my club championship at the club, and he was, you know, he's a four or five, and he's aiming left. A lot has to do with what your ball has done in the previous shot or in the previous day. If you have a tendency to fade the ball, let's say, today, I'll guarantee you that by the end of your round, you will be aiming left. You're not saying to yourself, Joe, aim left, but you will be. And if you're hooking, by the end of the day, you will be aiming right. It's a subconscious protection to the fact that you don't want the ball to go out of the park, you want it to stay where? In the fairway, so you are allowing subconsciously for that particular thing. That actually makes it worse though. It does, well, it makes you, you, you have to do it then. Yeah. See, if you're hooking. Otherwise you'll be way right. Well, yeah, sure. You have to hook it, so you're not, you're not helping yourself because you're forcing yourself to do what you don't want to do. I think his question was, you know, most right-handed players like to line up so their bodies aimed at their target. Well, so there's left-handed people. Oh, well, they would, they would want to They'd be lined up left. But they would be lining up left. Yeah, if you line up your shoulders and stuff, like I said, you'll always be to the right. But don't you think that's because our eyes are here and our shoulders are back here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that, see, if I get a person, no matter how far right they've been, and I tell them to take the club, looking at the target, and put it there, they're very seldom off the line. Yeah. See, I had. How, how many? How many times do you see people doing this? You see it all the time. See, I had a group of people when I first went to the club. They did it in putting. There's the hole, and the ball is right here, and they get their feet on the line, and they putt from here. See where I am? See, if if you line up your feet or any part of your body, you'll be miles to the right, miles to the right.